inverse of a function. As you can see in the notes, stated that the function g is inverse of f if f g x equals to x. The function f and g are inverses of each other if f g x equal to x and g f x equal to x. So meaning that the composite function of both the function and its inverses when you composite it you should get x only we go to the example 5.18 given the function fx equals to 3x and gx equals to x over 3 find fgx and gfx Just a basic one, f g x equal to 3 g x. 3 x over 3, which is x. And then for b, g f x equal to fx over 3 which is 3x over 3 same x so since fgx equals to x and gfx equals to x as you can see in the notes given that if you get like that so the conclusion is F and G are inverses of each other. Do you understand that? As you can read here, FF inverse X equals to X and F inverse FX equals to X because you have learned before the composite of the function and its inverse should get X only, vice versa. So automatically, the domain of fx dia jadi terbalik ya. Eh? Bila dia domain untuk satu, dia akan jadi range untuk yang satu lagi. Faham tak? Okay. Bila dia domain fx, maksudnya dia benda yang sama dengan range f inverse x. Vice versa, same. If dia range, dia akan jadi domain. Do you understand that everyone? Okay, we go to 5.19 punya example. Find the inverse of fx equals to 3 minus x if it exists. So, the first step to find uh, the inverse of a function is you write back the property that you have learned. You need to remember this property and understand. Yeah? Okay, ff inverse x should get x. So, what is fx? 3 minus x so dia jadi 3 minus f inverse x as you have learned before in composite function and then just like that you just rearranging the equation you should get f inverse x equals to 3 minus x that's how you find the inverse of a particular function okay bila you tengok ni f inverse same like dia punya fx betul tak sama kan f inverse x 3 minus x fx also 3 minus x function yang sama so ada remark di bawah ni such a function f is called self inverse ok bila dia sama kita panggil function tu self inverse that's the conclusion ya. do you understand that everyone Example 5.20 Given the function fx equals to x minus 2 over x plus minus 3 x should not be equal to 3 Find f inverse First Like I said before What is the first step? You write the property Okay and then baru you Kaitkan dengan soalan Okay so now Jadi f inverse x minus 2 
over f inverse x minus 3 equal to x faham? baik bila dalam untuk fraction you kena change so that the equation is only one line no fraction so you multiply x with everything to balance the equation understand then because you want f inverse x as your subject so you kumpulkan all the f inverse x punya term on your left and what happen to other terms you kumpulkan on your right faham tak tu understand okay now you can factorize f inverse as one object and then yang lain sama okay last kali you boleh dapat dah f inverse x is equal to negative 3x plus 2 over the whole thing simple as that do you understand <laughs>